Welcome to Lake Como. Hey everybody, I'm Chad. I'm Leslie. And we're the Wandell Family Adventures. And today, we're in... We are in the town of Perledo, which is just above the town of Verena on Lake Como. And today we're gonna to take you into Casa Valeria and show you around just a little bit. So let's, let's go on in. So welcome into the little foyer here. Nope, that's the lock. <laughs> it spins like four or five times. <laughs> it makes sure it locks. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the foyer here at the Casa Valeria. Mm -hmm. It's such a quaint little uh, Airbnb. Um, I'll tell you right off the bat, you're going to love this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, oh, it's perfect. If it's two people, three people, this is wonderful for you. So let's let's look in the essentials and then we'll look at why we actually booked this place. This is the entryway that we're standing in. Yep, so this is the entryway. It kind of comes around this corner and goes backwards here into the bathroom. Which is a great sized bathroom. Yeah, let me flip the camera around and we'll look at that. So in the bathroom, you got your standard stuff. You got a sink, you got a washing machine. You've got your toilet and bidet and a really actually nice size uh, shower here. So not too bad. They provide everything in here, towels, um, extra soaps and hair dryers. There's even tabs, washing machine tabs. Yeah, washing machine tabs and everything. So they've got everything here for you. Um, not a lot of places do that. They make you go buy your own stuff, but these guys have got it. And then we come into the bedroom. Okay. It's actually a really nice size bedroom. It's bigger than most of the bedrooms at our house, except for our master. So in the, the second large bedroom, but this is actually a really big bedroom. If I had to guess, it's probably uh, 12 foot by 14 foot mm -hmm. for you US people that measure in feet. If you want, you can just kind of pull these aside. It's not much of a view, but it's kind of to the walking path that goes right in front. Now let's let's take them over into the kitchen and show them the real reason we booked this place. Oh yes, let's go see. <laughs> this is a cute little view. Let's do this. The real reason we booked this place was not that view off of that balcony, but this view off of this balcony. <sighs> Welcome to Lake Como. Great little seating area right here with the perfect view out of those doors looking uh, at that awe-inspiring view. Um, this is just perfect. 
I sat down here for a second when we first got here and I did not want to get back up to film this. Um, <laughs> uh, great little fireplace. We haven't really delved into that, but it looks like it's gas. Um, then you know, your little dining area. They've got a great kitchen. There's a dishwasher. Um, they've got a little coffee maker with little coffee pods and all your sugars and salt, olive oil. Looks like tea here. Very cool. Toaster. Got a little percolator there to make coffee. Microwave. And they put in here a little bottle of Prosecco for us and a couple bottles of water. Very thoughtful. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. This place is awesome. They even have little dishwasher tabs if you need to wash some dishes, if you use any. So that was what they said. Yeah, Church coffee, bells are coffee and espresso mugs, little baking dishes. Do you hear them? Those church, church bells. bells? <gasps> yeah. Let's open the door. I hear church bells. <gasps> Together, a very useful list of your, you know, how to contact taxi service, your Wi-Fi, uh, the contact number for the Airbnb person, um, how to get to uh, calling the restaurant or the market to see if they need, if they have something you need. There's a parking pass that you can use. Um, just have to put it back whenever you come back. Um, your TV and remote, and this great little house book on tips and tricks and. Uh, light switches, and if you blow a fuse, I mean, how helpful is this? This is incredible information for somebody who's staying, you know, in a house like this for the first time. Very cool. Uh, Fabio, you've done an amazing job putting together information for us, and, and this, this house is beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm really glad to be here. And until next time, we're going to actually go to the store and have dinner down here. And then tomorrow we have a photo shoot scheduled. Uh, oh, did I mention that, babe? We're doing a photo shoot tomorrow out on the, the yeah, water. Yeah, he mentioned that. I have, we, we have special outfits <laughs> to have some portraits taken um, right out here. Got a photographer coming to meet us. Can't wait. I mean, in fact, we're gonna, when, when we do this, you'll, you'll be there with us. You ready? Mm-hmm. Well, welcome back everybody. Just like we said, we're going to be down here taking our portraits. And mm -hmm. we just finished doing that with Xavier. Yes. Who was awesome. By yes. Way. He was very Awesome. Sweet, very Young good. guy, studied in Milan. Boy, did he take some stellar pictures. And the thing is, is they were stellar on the camera. Yeah. And hadn't even been edited yet. And they were already breathtaking. So very we're going to, we're going to put his information in, in the link down below so you can uh, book him as your photographer because you will not be disappointed. No, he was wonderful. But uh, we're walking through now. Just. <laughs> Back to the uh, Central Indiana. Yeah, so we can uh, so we can uh, get back up to our Airbnb. But the the views here are ridiculous, people. This is just a walk. This, this is, is just a stroll through the buildings. Walking through town. Oh, the church bells are ringing again. It's just incredible here. And you here. keep running across little restaurants. Yeah, little, the little cafes. cafes. So it's They're just so pretty. Even if you don't have your portrait taken, just coming along and take yeah. a selfie. Yeah, there's too, too many great places. In fact, we'll do a little slideshow of our portraits once we get them and put them in here. Um, that way you can kind of see our, our portrait session because it was stellar. And he didn't, he stopped before we could go into the, the gardens, like the botanical gardens, because they don't allow professional photographers in there. Yeah, uh, you have to have a license portraits. to do that. Right. And so you have to book it months and months and months in advance. So. If you know you've got you can, six months or more before you're going to be here, then you can call ahead and get that done. But we didn't, so we only booked our portrait photographer like three months out. So, but this view, hold on, and look at this view. Just look at this. So yeah, that view, it's ridiculous, right? Yes, so today is Wednesday the 17th? I yep, so. <laughs> I um, think it is. 
And it was in the 40s this morning. It's probably still in the low but, 50s. Well, I think when you step in the sun, it's warmer than that. Yeah, the sun's wonderful. So we're still walking back. We're taking the lover's walk. Uh, along the coast of Veranda. Yep, it's along the coast. I mean, like literally, there's the water. There's the wall. And this little concrete pathway. Which is gorgeous, by the way. Lots of little bridges. And oh, tons of little nooks to take pictures. Yeah. Like we're about to go under this cool thing. I bet in summer this is completely bloomed out. But I mean, look how pretty this is. You, you sick of this view yet? Uh, not in a million years. Nah. Nah. It's too wonderful. Like everywhere you turn, it's just, oh look, pretty more. More pretty. <laughs> well, before you turn, it's another beautiful backdrop. Another yep. Photographer's dream. Yeah, this is literally a photographer's dream spot because like everywhere you turn, it's just like, oh, you thought it was pretty over there? Look over here now. Yeah. So, I mean, just looking at the Alps over here mm -hmm. with the snow on them. Turn the camera around, show them. Yeah, hold on. Let me, let's do this. This is this. incredible. This view right here. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's the view right there. Look at that. Let's see. Right, let's take a picture here. This is okay. <laughs> yeah, that view, it just doesn't get old. It doesn't. I mean, this whole... Is yeah, stunning. it's completely gorgeous. I had to get my shawl out. It's still a little chilly this morning. Yeah. It's about 10 yeah. 30 in the morning. Yeah, getting close to 11. And uh, it's still in the low 50s, maybe yeah. mid 50s. But it's going to get in the mid 60s today. Yeah, when you get the sun, it just it warms up, but staying here in the shade where the sun hasn't hit yet. Yeah. It's just a little chilly, so definitely bring a jacket. Mm. Keep walking on camera. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Just everywhere you turn, it's another place to take a picture. Another place to take a picture. So we tried the local Lake Como Reef Lake. It was amazing. Celesta. Mm -hmm. It is delicious. This is the crostini with apricot jam. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is incredible. So this, like I thought it was going to be more of a pie, but it is definitely more dense and crunchy and, and just crustier. But this crust, I, it tastes just like shortbread. It's like a Girl Scout cookie pie with homemade whipped cream and apricot jam. Look at that. You're good. You got your face. Mm. First is the whipped cream. And then shortbread and then the apricot kicks in. And then the shortbread again. If you're a shortbread fan. That is delicious. And Chad ordered the tiramisu, which is, is delicious. Incredible, if I get incredibly amazing. Oh my gosh, absolutely delicious. So my tip though is uh, don't breathe in when you put it in your mouth. Otherwise you're gonna suck in all the cocoa, cocoa powder. powder. <laughs> and uh, you'll choke yourself, but it just collapses in your mouth and it is so velvety creamy. 
It's unlike any of the tiramisu I've had in the States at all. The flavor is way more complex. But the coffee like, flavor was very smooth it, it, yeah, and not bitter. It's very subtle on the coffee flavor. You definitely can tell that it's not whipped cream. It's actually mascarpone cheese. And the, the texture is very velvety, very, very beautiful mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's a sexy mouthfeel. Um, the, 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 you can tell they've been soaked a lot longer than most people do because the, the flavors just kind of collapse in your mouth and it's delicious and you taste every little piece of the ingredients one after another you get you get the, the cream the sugar in your mouth the, the cheese and then you get the chocolate just kind of comes over your whole mouth and then at the very end you get this little oh by the way i was coffee and it's so good mm. and i'm not a coffee person like i don't really like coffee this is an incredible flavor Mm. <laughs> oh my god, do you think you're tipsy and full? Oh no, not pink. Oh my god. I'm tipsy and full. <laughs> that was an incredible meal. That was great. Incredible meal. Mm. We'll put links to this page, to this place down in the, uh, yeah. the notes. Delightful. Wow. It's got a five star review on Yelp which is like unheard of and they've got like 3,000 views. So. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. A little bit of chicken. Oh, look at that one. Oh, look at that one. That is cute. That's a cutie pie. Hey, buddy. Hey, everybody. We just walked up the steps because we're headed down the street. It's literally 400 feet, if that. A little more but yeah. it's not very far at all to bar milano mm -hmm. uh because it's a little bar restaurant that sits here at the top of the hill and yeah uh, monica says they have really great pizza we had kind of like an aperitivo last night there or yesterday afternoon i guess yeah just had a little aperol spritz and some little snacks and watched uh, sat on the patio and uh we're gonna walk there again and have dinner yeah, we're going to go down here and have dinner because it's a lot easier than walking all the way down. <laughs> mm -hmm. She said there are some other little restaurants here in town, but she said there's This was just, her favorite. Yeah, so this is her favorite as far as pizza goes. So. Yeah. We'll go give it a shot. We're going to definitely give it a shot, and I'm excited. It is seven, uh, 8.30 at night. It's 8.30. The sun is behind, behind the, mountains. the mountains. Yeah. Not fully gone yet, but it is behind the mountains. The temperature's already dropped quite a bit out here. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think? 10 to 15 degrees? Yeah, if it was... If it was 65, 68 degrees this afternoon. It's in the low 50s now. It's in the low 50s now. Mm -hmm. So layers, bring a jacket. Oh, and speaking of layers, shirt. I mean, she's got a scarf on with a jacket. Mm -hmm. And you a know, long sleeve shirt. I threw my coat jacket back on just to give me some jacket. Uh, I don't get cold very easily, but mm -hmm. even with the wind that's coming up right now, because of the... The air's getting cool, it's falling down and kind of falling into the valley and just the air movement's cold. So I don't find that it's cold here. I just find that the air the movement breeze. is yeah, is air. taking the heat out of me. But other than that, I'm quite comfortable right now. So yeah. it's very beautiful. It's, com it's comfortable. I know it's... It's comfortable. It's actually pretty breezeless at the moment really still mm -hmm. you can see that there's definitely wind down at the lake but mm -hmm. up here on our side of the mountain we must have the uh the downwind side and the mountain the air is coming up over the top of us and cascading down so i mean geez, look at these views are you kidding me anyway we'll show you the bar when we get there um just a little walk yeah it's like right there's a little like piazza with the bar um a little grocery and, store. And, yeah, the bar is also kind of like a convenience store. Um, they ha you can buy your bus tickets there. They have a bus schedule. Uh, there's also uh, like a pharmacy across the street from the uh, Bar Milano with a post office um, and a little uh, a little convenience store, kind of like a grocery store, small grocery store there. Yeah. There's a couple other things there. I can't remember what are there, but it's like a little shopping center. Mm -hmm. About five or six of their little businesses. It's a little town square. Yeah. It's great. We're 80% mm -hmm. of the way there, but we'll show you when we get there. Sure. There's a building there. All right. <laughs>
here we are in the town square. <laughs> yeah. um, right there is Bar Milano, just behind you. That is the post office, the uh, Alimentare Parallelo, the uh, grocery store, food and typical products and alcoholic drinks you can buy there. Uh, and then up there in that corner, uh, there is an elevator to go up. Uh, you know, there's stairs and then the elevator and then the, that's the pharmacy. And it's a dispensary, so it's, um, I guess, an actual pharmacy where you can call in your prescriptions, not just like a drugstore, like a CVS or a Walgreens. Um, but yeah, so there's the uh, Bar Milano and the, this says La Provincia di Leco, which I'm assuming is the, the little like bus stop in the, like, not sure what else they sell on there. I have to go see. I think I saw newspapers and, and stuff. Newspapers, yeah. So, but yeah, that's where we're at. And, uh, we're gonna get some well, welcome back, everybody. We just finished having dinner here at Bar Milano. <clears throat> we uh, <laughs> we didn't film inside for one distinct reason. It was a little rowdy. Well, it's a it's a very very it's a local spot, local spot, local, local spot. Yeah, there were tables of local people just sitting around playing cards. There was a game on. Um, yeah, they were watching just, the, the football game. Like, I felt very awkward trying to pull up my phone and take video while we were in there. And they're cheering and laughing. They're drinking beer, playing cards. Like, this is the hangout spot for the town. Mm -hmm. So you have to come here. It's crazy. Yeah, the pizza's the pizza's good. The pizza's pizza good. Pizza's really good. Mm -hmm. I had a, a it was a spicy salami. sausage. Yeah, salami. Picante. I Pic forgot what they called it. Picante. Yeah, it was a, a salami it was picante. Salami. It was spicy. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. Mine, I can't remember what it was called. Uh, but it had ham on it. Yeah. So it may have been prosciutto. Who knows? It it was they some call pork it spec. product. They what called it spec. Is? Yeah, we yeah. might have to reshoot this video. And learn what that means. <laughs> <laughs> or, I'll, or I'll put it in captions down below. Who knows? Yeah. What a spec. <laughs> we'll look it up and just kind of, because it's probably something, it's probably bacon. <laughs> yeah, like Canadian bacon, like Italian bacon. But it was really good. So I, I didn't really go into that with like super high hopes because we just wanted dinner so that small. was close and easy so and, and when you walk in you'll be like mm, i don't know mm -hmm. just trust us just sit down have a beer eat a pizza mm -hmm. it was great better than Domino's. better than all that other crap mm -hmm. um, the pizza was easily a it was a probably right in between a small and a medium size yeah it's about a medium size from. pizza i think it was it's about a 14 inch pizza the whole plate i, could, I couldn't finish it no, me either. I, that's I, why we're holding the box yeah. <laughs> there it is we might be hungry later because we put in a lot of steps today so if so if you come to parlato you, you can't miss it it's mm -hmm. the it's on town center square <laughs> the, the whole square right here just now we are going to walk back to our Airbnb and get ready for bed because we are exhausted. Yes. And tomorrow we have to wake up because where are we going? Uh, I think we're going to the Cinque Terre, the five villages, the five towns. Yeah, we're uh, we're going there for a few days. So today was just a short visit, and I'm kind of upset because I really think we should have stayed a week here. Yeah. Um, it's it's. Well, we, never mind. We, we, <laughs> no, we, we, this first trip to Italy was just kind of like, let's see a little bit of everything and figure out what we really like so that we can decide where to stay longer in the future. Well, we've already been talking about buying property. We've already been talking about this buying property amazing. here. Like it is. I would live here. Yeah, I could live here. This is gorgeous. The town is so laid back and relaxed. People are just like, man, come on, let's go. Let's, uh, or no, we sit here. You want to go? Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like easy come, easy go. Mm -hmm. It's everything you want. Like this is this could be an easy retirement village. Oh, 100%. Oh. On that note. I would love to retire here. But let's go retire now. Let's go retire for tonight. <laughs> and we'll see you guys bright and early in the morning as we get on our train to go to Rio Majori. <laughs>